Today we're going to learn how to make overnight oats. So what you'll need first is an air sealed container. I like to use a mason jar for this. You can use a Tupperware container. And you'll need rolled oats or old fashioned oats. And from there we can just throw in a bunch of different things that we have in our cabinets to make this taste as yummy as possible. Today I'm going to make a chocolate blueberry overnight oats and I will post other recipes for different kind of overnight oats that you can do. First you'll take about a half of cup of Quaker oats and you'll put this into the mason jar. You might miss a few. So that's our base. From here, we can add anything that we'd like. In my overnight oats, I like to have some chia seeds. And just eyeball about how much you want of each. I also like to add hemp hearts. They're really great in omegas and you don't even taste them in your overnight oats, so it's a great way to get some nutrients that you um, might not always put in your meals. And I also like to add some coconut because it gives me a little extra sweetness. You can also use honey, date syrup, or anything else that you'd like to use as a natural sweetener. So from there, We'll just shake it around a little bit, make sure everything is getting mixed in. And then from here, you can go ahead and add whatever fruit you'd like to add. Um, some people like to add dry fruit to their overnight oats. I like to add fresh blueberries. These are already washed. Now that they're in there, I will add a little bit of almond milk. Feel free to use whatever milk that you would like to use, but I like to use almond milk because it makes my stomach feel good. And you're gonna wanna fill it up just a little bit over where the oats and the fruit lay. So just about halfway from here, you'll seal it with the lid, whichever method you prefer to use. Make sure it's very tight, and then you're gonna give it a nice shake. Get everything all mixed in with the water. And then this will go in the fridge for about eight hours, and when you wake up, it's gonna be a nice tasty treat for you. I have already prepared overnight oats, so this is what it's gonna look like after it sits in the fridge for eight hours. It's gonna look like a nice pudding, a nice oatmeal. And here you can add whatever you'd like. So I like to add some almonds and some chocolates. You wanna make sure that you're using new utensils each time you dip into a different bag. You don't wanna cross contaminate. So I'm gonna use some cacao nibs, just a few in here. And then we'll add some almond slices for some garnish. And this is just based on what I like to eat. So there's my easy overnight oats. It takes about five minutes and you have a full yummy breakfast in the morning.